This block six, the Great Depression, section five, the 100 days with the Fair Labor Standards Act, also known as the Wages and Hours Bill. The Wages and Hours Bill set a federal minimum wage for the first time in American history in all industries engaged in interstate commerce. So if, you're, if you worked in an industry that engaged in interstate commerce, which is pretty much every industry, if you worked in an industry that engaged in interstate commerce, there was a federal minimum wage and a federal maximum hour. The minimum wage was 40 cents an hour, and you, had to, you could work a maximum of an eight-hour day, 40 days a week, 40, 40 hours a week. Eight hours a day, five days a week for a total of 40 hours. Any work that your company had you do beyond 40 hours, you had to be paid overtime. Uh, wages, 40 cents an hour minimum wage, hours, maximum hour 40 before overtime kicks in. This law also uh, prevents children under the age of uh, 16 from working in uh, farm-related jobs, and you cannot work in any dangerous jobs until you are 18 years old. It's a child labor law, it is a wages law, it is an hours law. Along with the Wagner Act, these are kind of the capstones, the foundation, capstones in one sense, and the foundations in another of the American labor movement. Uh, from now on, people were kind of guaranteed a minimum wage that you could um, keep a family alive on, at the very least. 